Hey, hello, how are you? Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much as always for coming back. In this video, you're gonna be bidding with me for my December schedule. I look a little bit different from the actual video and that is because I had to do a sidebar video. The original footage that I shot for this, I was having major editing, filming issues. Camera stopped recording at one point, then another point. The audio cut completely out. Like it was just a mess. And I didn't want to scrap the whole vlog. I decided to push through and put something out for you guys. You, you don't even know. I've been trying to post this video for so long. Whatever, here we are. I'm gonna show you what I bid for and how I bid my schedule for each month. But December is gonna be a little bit different because December I'm not restricted to the days that I have to fly. So I can fly any day of the week. And I do want the end of December off. So that's also gonna be a little bit different. So I'm gonna show you what my typical bid looks like and I'm gonna show you what I'm actually gonna bid for for the month of December. Let's back up. My name is T or Tange, whichever you prefer. And I'm a flight attendant for a major US airline. I should have started with that, huh? <laughs> Hello. This is not a bid tutorial. If you want a quick little bid tutorial, you can refer back to the cards. And that's not really too extensive either but it gives you a little bit more insight than this one does. If this is something that you're interested in, let me know, leave a comment if you wanna see more of these. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, okay? Why not? So anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video. So here we are. We are now in PBS. This is one of the systems that we are gonna be using. We're gonna be going between two today. We're gonna to go between PBS and rotation filtering. So PBS is where you input your actual bids, your requests, the things that you want and do not want. This is where you would put that. And the other is this one here. This is rotation filtering. This is where you go to filter through the different rotations that the base has for the month. So we're gonna be going between these two. I just wanna bring you back over to PBS really quickly just to show you what my normal, typical month-to-month -month bid looks like. UFM, that is until further notice. That means you can put your bid in, click until further notice, and it will stay in here until further notice, okay? <laughs> for the month of December, I want December 28th through the 31st off. So days off, Monday through Thursday, until further notice. And then underneath it, it's showing Tuesday through Thursday off. And what that is saying is, if I can't get Monday through Thursday off, then at least give me Tuesday through Thursday off, okay? But again, I don't need these bits in for the month, so I'm going to erase it. And I'm gonna select date. I'm going to select the date because it's not any particular day of the week. It's a specific date. So I'm going to click the date and I'm going to click the 28th. I should probably do the 27th. Is that pushing it? So you know what? I would do like this. I'm going to put the 27th just because through the 31st. Importance as many as possible. Okay. So you can change this to say the most consecutive or beginning, end of range, whatever. So I always leave it as, as many as possible because I want as many of these days off as possible, right? And then what position? Any. Don't ask me to work these dates on any position. None. Nada. We're going to change this other one. Other bit that I had, I said the 27th through the 31st. We're now going to put in the 28th because if, let's say, I don't get the 27th through the 31st, then this is saying, well, give me the 28th the 31st here we have our two bids so yeah this avoid a day start day we're going to take that out because one hopefully i won't have a days again for december and i don't have any preferences if i happen to get them i don't really care so we're going to delete that one okay delete yes this here this is saying give me a to on friday i want a to any day of the week okay <laughs> so i'm just going to put the date I'm gonna put the first until the 25th. So that's trip type TO. These are my avoids. So avoid layover Amsterdam, Edinburgh, Frankfurt. <laughs> um, we are gonna keep that in there because I, I don't want those. But what I want, what I would like, what I would love is Milan, Paris, Barcelona, baby, Madrid, and London. 
these are what I would love, right? And this is hopeful, you know, like, please, Daddy D, give me these trips. If not, okay, fine. But that's just saying, if I can hold them, these are the places I would like to go. Here as well, these are a couple more. Avoid trip length one, that's me saying, please avoid one day trips. I don't want a one day trip. Don't give that to me. Mm -mm. Give me three day trips, I'm a three day girl. For right now, avoid trip type domestic. <laughs> That was wishful thinking. I wanted to avoid domestic trips, but we know that's not gonna happen right now, at least not until the spring. So we're gonna take this one out. My baby wants attention. Say hey, booby boo. <laughs> Bye girl. Graham, so everything else in here is good. Cause it's saying I want to avoid four legs, three legs per day. <laughs> I want to avoid two legs per day. So I would like a one in one type of trip. I don't mind a, you know, one leg there, one leg back. All of this is saying trip type one day, avoid one. Let me show it to you in a different way. So, okay, see here, trip type length equals one. Avoid until further notice, anything equal or less than seven hours, avoid that. I don't want those. So let's jump into the other system. Okay, so now rotation filtering. We are looking for trips that I do want to work. So I do want to work three day trips. Three day trips are fine. Two days would be amazing. We could start with three. Let's start with three. And then we're going to change the date range to the first. And we're going to end on the 25th. That's the range we are searching for trips, three day trips. And legs per duty we're gonna say two <laughs> don't give me no more than two legs so these are all the layovers here i'm gonna go back dumb it down a little bit more and modify the search report time i don't care right now credit time don't really care right now layover length i don't want short layovers i like a minimum of like 16. i want a sufficient amount of sleep and rest and just time there so 16 hours is kind of like my soft spot so 16 hours is the layover length minimum that i'm going to search for and see where we are if i have to work domestic where would i like to lay over i would like to lay over in florida i know a lot of people don't like work in florida because those flights can be interesting i don't mind them well miami that is i don't want miami but anything else i can i don't mind so i'm going to put fort lauderdale and see what we get with these parameters as far as the date range and the layover time. So on December 6th, 13th and 18th, these are the trips we got. Oh, Dallas, cute. Tampa, Fort Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale, Denver. Okay, this one, this one's cute. Fort Lauderdale, San Diego. It's worth 18 hours. So let's see what the whole rotation looks like. JFK to Fort Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale and Mini, Mini to San Diego, 15 hours. And then one leg back to JFK, just make sure there's no sits here. This one's actually pretty good. I'm gonna put this one in. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go and filter through different trips and see what I like, see what I want, and then plug them in. And once I plug them in, I'll come back and show you the trips that I picked because it's a process. It's gonna be tedious for me to sit here and go through each one specifically. And typically I would just literally copy the rotation number and come over here and put it in. Let me just do that with you now. Rotation, 3513 on the 18th, but any position and save. So that's one specific rotation that I have in here that I know I wanna work or would like to work or wouldn't mind working. I'm gonna go ahead and um, see what trips that I like. I'm gonna put in destinations that I wouldn't mind laying over and plug those in. And I'm also gonna look up a TO for Christmas. I wouldn't mind working Christmas. I'm gonna look up TOs that start on, I guess like the 22nd through the 25th and see what TOs there are and plug those in. And that's it. I'm gonna come back once I'm done doing all of that to show you what I actually picked. This is gonna be a while. So I'll be back. This one actually isn't bad. Oh, Fort Myers. Oh, JFK to Fort Myers. Okay, St. Louis. It's gonna be a no for me. Took some time to filter through the rotations for the month of December. There were a lot of like pretty decent rotations for the parameters that I put in, and the parameters being the dates, which were the first, 
through 21st or 22nd and two legs per day max a minimum layover time of 16 hours so there was some pretty decent layovers that fell into that parameter i didn't want to go through and list every single rotation that was appealing just because that was too tedious to do unless there was a rotation or two that i really 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 wanted then i went in like you saw and put that in other than that i just decided that i'm going to go into pbs and put in the layover cities everything else all my other bids in here are in line with what i put in rotation filtering as far as the number of legs that i want the length of the layover etc etc so being that that's already in here i can then just go ahead and say these are the layover cities that i would like within these parameters hope that makes sense let me know if it does or doesn't in the comments and if you're still here watching thank you so much go ahead and hit that subscribe button we did this together i put in i want days off December 27th to 31st. If I can't hold those particular dates, then I'm asking for the 28th. So we put that in. Trip type, TO, transoceanic, December 1st through the 25th. So I'm asking for a trip type of a transoceanic between December 1st and 25th. Give me a trip, a TO, anytime between that time period. I put this rotation in, we did that one together. Trip type TO, I went ahead and put in a more specific date for a TO. Yes, I would like a TO the entire month or from the 1st until the 25th, but if I can't get one within that time, please at least give me a TO between the 21st and the 25th. So that's what this bid is saying. These are the avoid international trips. This bid here is the one that I wanted to point out to you. The Houston, IAH, Phoenix, Tucson, San Diego, and PBI, which is West Palm Beach. So I wanted to point that out specifically because like I was saying, I was going through rotation filtering and seeing a bunch of different rotations that I thought were interesting and that I wouldn't mind working or that I would like to work and there were just so many with these different layovers. I just decided I'm not gonna put in each and every single one of these layovers individually. I'm just gonna go in and say, please give me one of these layovers within these other parameters that I have put in here as far as how many legs I want or don't want, how many hours I want and don't want, etc. So this is my bid. This is my bid for the month. So I hope it was helpful to a degree. How to rotation filter and why you would rotation filter. And then instead of putting in a specific rotation, you can put in specific layovers. So in that sense, I hope it was helpful. I will follow up when schedules come out, do another schedule reaction. I'm excited to see what I'm going to get for December. Fingers crossed, I get the 28th through the 31st off, number one that we need and a TO, at least one TO. Those are the two things that we are hoping for in the month of December with regard to our schedule, okay? But other than that, this was fun, this was cute. Just wanted to pop in and show you again what I bid for and now what I got. <laughs>